Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Palaver Project. I am the stuttering one, Michael Rivera, and I'm here with the majestic Moses Alcasis. Also known as Stutz McKenzie. <laughs> and the southern dandy Oscar Sandoval. Wait, how come he gets to be majestic? <laughs> we are also joined today by our friend Thomas Rodriguez, or like we got to, you know, call him him here, uh, Standards and Practices. Oh, no. <laughs> how, are, how are you guys? Look, I got a grievance with all you guys. Thomas got <laughs> and he's no, looking he's at me like this whole time. <laughs> Although, ooh, judging by last week's numbers, maybe I should just jump ship. Ah, you know? uh, that's ooh. true. Abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> guys, how are you doing? Uh, oh, fine. Just, just fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anything interesting happened during the week? I woke up. Oh, that's good. You're alive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's he's woke now. He woke as fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Oscar and I, we did go out to uh, the old sod for uh, St. Patrick's Day Eve. Of course, he did. Yeah, dude, it's, <laughs> that's the place, man. And I'm the guy. I mean, it's a place. Well, yeah. I mean, when you put it that way, <laughs> like, I like Frank's better. I don't know where that place is. <laughs> My buddy Frank. Oh, free <laughs> beer. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, see? But does he have karaoke? Yeah, we just we get around a phone that's playing YouTube and we do that a cappella type karaoke. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Maybe next weekend. But this last weekend we did karaoke at the sod and you can definitely see that yeah. on Facebook, right Oscar? Yeah, don't uh, come uh, kiss from a rose. Uh you got it. Wait, wait. When you say that you uh, guys, well, mainly me. It was mainly him. Uh, yeah. Mainly or only? Only. only. <laughs> only. I yeah, did I write my home. name on the list, but I had. To, I was just. I was done. Hey, baby steps. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> he, he wrote his name on the list. The guy looked at it and crumbled it up. <laughs> Threw it straight to the and trash. Can. We have Oscar Sandoval. <laughs> wow, that's weird. He's having me go right, like right away. Yeah. I just went. <laughs> it's like uh, two people in the fucking bar. <laughs> One's Mike. He looks at the uh, paper. These, these guys again. Get him up and get him off quick. <laughs> hey, I'm a good tipper. That's probably why he has me up there. That guy probably misses me. Actually, a good tipper or like a good tipper by your standards? Well, by my standards, oh, of course. So. Dog shit. I used to have a rule when it came to tipping. It was you start off with like eight dollars, and every little mistake that you had, I would take a dollar off. Oh, and eventually, it would bitch. just be a dollar. <laughs> That's the third rock from the sun way of doing it. You ever see that episode? No. That's great. Which one? Yeah. He didn't understand tipping, right? He's an alien. He didn't get it. So he was like, "Well, if this oh, is not performance." Oh, that makes sense. Why Oscar does it? And he put all oh. the cash, all the cash on the table, and he's like, "This represents." Your possible tip. <laughs> For everything that I don't like or mistake that you make, I shall remove from this pile. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly how I do. Well, used to. You just start out with now 100 I'm... ones? <laughs> no. Well, no, no, no. I'm a lot more uh, strict. No, no. They, $8. Don't, they don't bring you your drink in time. They're like, oh, that drink is a little late. That's a $50 deduction. <laughs> Whoa, okay. High stakes. <laughs> No, no, no. It used to be um, $8, but now I do the 15%, so... Because I dated somebody that was a bartender, and she made me... What, you had like an $8 flat fee? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, even if the bill was uh, every, like 100 bucks. It didn't matter what it was. It could be a steakhouse, could be whatever. My bill could be $200. $8 was my max. That was... And they never got it, too, which is kind of great. I, I, like, you know, like, I was like, man, all these waiters suck. You know, they just suck. You could catch Oscar being a bad tipper at the, in the old no, sod. I'm a great, <laughs> damn it, Michael. I'm a great tipper now. Well, I'm a moderate tipper. Fifteen percent. How is that? What do you Enough guys of your tipping. Talk. I love your tipping. Shut Let's up. just move on. <laughs> uh, oh, well, you got a tipping system? That's new. <laughs> That's fresh. That's original. So, oh, I didn't hear it was a system. Wait a sec. Let's revisit that. <laughs> Anywho, check out his video on Facebook. It might give you a couple of laughs. Be sure to share and also follow the page. Also, there's another video up. Uh, last week, I went over to the Women's Art Exhibition on Thursday. God, stop plugging your videos. They can go find it. Just tell them to go to the page. <laughs> Kill him. It's, it's, Someone mute that guy. 
Throw right. them over the side. <laughs> I don't know how to work this thing. First, I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who's already seen the videos, and I hope you guys share. It was a really cool video to do. I got to talk to Chris, the owner of the La Bodega Gallery, and also Armando Nunez, artist, local artist in the Barrio Logan area. Um, hopefully, I'll get him to get on the podcast soon. And uh, pl- shout out to Moses this Lord. weekend. No, yeah, let's put Moses on the spot oh, wow. for helping a friend in need. Uh, you actually, you were supposed to join us at the uh, at the sod, but you dropped everything to go help a friend, and that's gotta give props because like this friend was down in the dumps. You went, you 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 helped you helped the friend out, this mutual friend out. You know, you gave up your weekend. You naive little shits. <laughs> Moses is a good guy. That's just what he was telling you to get out of it. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, I had no. This was this was uh, this actually was uh, corroborated. <laughs> Yes, uh, I actually did check it with the mutual friend. Are you sure it wasn't Alexa? <laughs> Alexa. Battery at 50%. Okay, thank you. That's all the proof I needed. <laughs> there you go. 50%. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, how was your weekend? Oh, happy belated birthday, by the way. Uh, don't mention that. Oh, oh come yeah, on. How old right. are you now? This is the birthday episode. <laughs> uh, 34. Yeah, 34. Phil, 24. Ooh, can we edit that? Uh... Only my, my hairline felt the same way, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a shame. That yeah. is, yeah. I mean, but, like, is it, though? Kind of, <laughs> kind of a bummer. <laughs> Look, it happens to the best of us, you know what I mean? It, like, it does. Like, it does. Whatever. Well, it sometimes happened. there's exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look at all the people it happened to. Danny DeVito. You just pay for it in every other physical uh. way. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hey, you know we, what? Losing, losing your hair, it's a load off, you know what I mean? Keeps you keeps you young. Keeps you feeling young. <laughs> it's that hair that's weighing you guys down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say bald is in, but you've got kind of the Ron Howard thing going right now. <laughs> but uh, Ron Howard doesn't have that much hair on the top of his head. That's still, you know, there's still something. Great working. director. Still, still working. Uh, mm, mm-hmm. I mean, used to be, maybe. Uh, <laughs> they all used to be. Do you see Solo? <laughs> Steven Spielberg isn't that great anymore. I don't think he even does movies anymore. He's, like he's a producer years old, now, right? so like, who cares? <laughs> well, I do. When you choose to make a movie, you make it good. You know, like you used to be. What do you know about good movies? <laughs> Here we go again. Here this we could go. Take another Ladies hour. and gentlemen, we are listener supported, so spread the word. We are on the palaverproject.com as well as the aforementioned Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Oh, on the website. Any updates on the website, by the way? Getting lots of hits. Doing good. I actually put up a review of Uncanny X Men uh, Eleven, so I'll probably have two more issues up by the end of the week, and I should be caught up with X Men. I'm gonna wait on Batman. Speaking of comics, sorry, Michael. Go for it. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but we should have a segment where we, you know, we catch up on the current events. Blah blah. blah. Birthday, old sod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be talking about this travesty called. Captain Marvel, or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm. Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. Anyway, saw that in the last uh, week or whatever. They just, like, slapped that thing together, like, just so they could put it in Avengers, huh? Oh, that's a bummer. Really? Don't ruin, really don't ruin it for me. I don't yeah, I haven't movie. watched it yet. Maybe if we all... I thought that <clears throat> that movie was just, like, a two-hour Lady Footlocker commercial. Oh, you watched it? <laughs> Here's my question. Why do they always have to double down, like... The feminism thing, like okay, look, I get, I get the need like for this stuff, you know what I mean? Like, not to be like the fact that I'm calling it what it is. All of a sudden, I'm like an anti-feminist, right? Is that how it works? Oh no, yeah, you are. But anyway, <laughs> like, why do they always have to double down? Like, okay, we have a female like antagonist, like she's tough, quote unquote, you know. Right. But then she has to like they heavily insinuate that she's like a lesbian, also. Like, why, why do we have to like double down on like the things for like inclusion, you know? Like just is she that in the comics? Am I speaking out of school? Like, is Captain Marvel, like, mm-hmm. lesbian in the comics? That's what wow. the Illuminati wants us to uh, swallow now. Well, you know, she could have lifted some weights for that movie or something. At <laughs> least. Oh, you just thought she, she looked so too, weak. like, not even military uh, pilot Not even standards. military grade. Yeah. yeah like she and she's supposed to be, like, some pilot, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's mostly the powers, something. guys. Come on. You, you know, know what? I'm sick that... of accidental powers, by the way. <laughs> I like people who worked for their powers. Like Doctor Strange, right? 
Oh, he wasn't yeah. born with it. You know, okay. he's badass though. He learned some magics. Well, but I mean, but some of the best heroes got accidental powers. Well, yeah. fuck, yeah. Like they were born with them. Well, yeah, 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 I was gonna Rip say you have Spider Man on your wall. What are you talking about? It's <laughs> uh-huh. a fucking tool. Oh, it's to remind me. I'm not care anymore. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I look at them and I'm like, that's not true. That's not true. (laughs) Did Venom work to get his powers? No, no, no. He's an alien, and he's still freaking awesome. It's accident, dude. No more accidents. Uh, Tony Stark built this in a cave. (laughs) He worked for his powers that he had. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's true. He did. He did. He did work. Well, I'll skip. Batman, no powers. No you powers. I mean? Total work and Total. will. Michael, you're not allowed to talk about talk right now. <laughs> We're talking about Batman. You don't know anything about this. So. <laughs> <laughs> not, nothing at all. <laughs> but you know, even all that stuff that I mentioned, like the let me clarify, like all that stuff that I had mentioned about Captain Marvel, like, that doesn't bother me. What bothered me the most is how terrible, like the exchanges and, like, the dialogue were in that movie. Like, I don't know if it was, like, the, the directing and the, the editing, but it just felt like all of the actors were, like, reading off a script. Yeah. It was, like, watching, really? like, a not-as-fast, like, uh, version of, like, Gilmore Girls. It was, like, terrible. So is there mm-hmm. anything consequential in the story that I need to go watch to be, be ready for any And it, like, backtrack. It was su- like, surprisingly very shallow in character development. That's crazy. Really okay. shallow for a movie that seemed to be trying to spend a lot of time on character mm-hmm. development. Yeah. Like, it was. Um, is it because they're focused on Infinity... Like the next one, it, you know, I don't know, man. They just throw that doesn't it give. Together. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse at all. Yeah. yeah. The that's problem is, is I don't even feel like it did that great a job building up like Infinity Wars. I feel like the mm. movie didn't even have a villain. It didn't. It was like it backtracked yeah. to like the villain from uh, uh, Guardians. Yeah, Guardians but he of the was Galaxy. A, yeah. he was a figurehead more than anything. He just showed up like at the he end was like for, Tarkin, like, a minute. right? Like yeah. Grand Admiral Tarkin, just standing exactly. on a ship, like oh, this shit's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know man it was just it was boring like For one it was boring jude law was kind of a villain yeah, yeah. He looked cool know, in the I, these type of villains they don't get you though like what's you know <laughs> oh this will sum it up perfectly did he die in that movie spoiler mm. alert what happened to him in that movie that tells you what you need to know about how much they fleshed out this villain what happened to the villain in that movie i think she tossed him back to go talk to what's his face, guys. Which who cares? <laughs> Which who cares? Because that know guy's gonna Ronan die in, died yeah, in yeah. Galaxy. <laughs> right the galaxy. I have not watched this movie. Damn it! Yeah, it, do- it much... doesn't matter. You're gonna okay, see it, and you're we'll like, none of these revelations. We could matter. spoil it for the fans, for the audience, we but not spoil us. It. It's been out. Yeah, that's your problem. If you haven't seen I it yet, yeah, we talk about movies on this podcast. It's... Look, you should be caught up. Right. Speaking about movies, and, and, then, right? and Endgame comes out in like a month. Like you need to is that, speed is that it up. True? Yes. Yeah, and with Endgame coming up, we're gonna have a closure for this whole phase of Marvel, and then we're gonna get to the new phase. And this new phase will be pretty interesting because now the Fox Disney deal has been finalized. Well, oh. by the time you're listening to this podcast, no speculative. I don't like where this. The is acquisition going. of 21st like Century Fox's film and TV division will no be complete. Anything. <laughs> well, they will know by after tomorrow. Ugh. Truly, Your Honor, sidebar. <laughs> <laughs> so that's yes. it. Oh, ooh, Disney owns Fox. X Men's gonna ring in phase two. Come on, we know this already. Well, yeah, we, know, but, we all know that they're just gonna be teenagers again, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it's obviously just gonna be teenagers. That's true. Teenager Magneto and Professor X, <laughs> <laughs> and they're not even doing anything cool. Well, what the end they, of the they don't have their powers yet. Yeah, end of the phase, but also it's the end of the era for 21st Century Fox. Now, this company, you know, held the rights to just not only X Men and Deadpool, but Die Hard, Aliens, Predator, Avatar, Avatar, Planet of the Apes, Family Guy, and The Simpsons, hmm. just to name a few. This is all now property of the Walt Disney Company. <laughs> Franchises that they failed to revive for 500. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bummer. So this this whole acquisition costs seventy one point. It's not a point. bummer. They're just not going to do. Nothing's going to happen with it. Like they're going to either try to reboot it and it's going to suck, <laughs> or they're not going to do anything with it. It's the beginning of the end, man. It's been over, Oscar, for it's a long the, time. It's in the Bible. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a revelation. It's <laughs> what's going to happen. <laughs> that should just be a soundbite that you have, yeah. like to play on the, that on would the be show. Good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
$71.3 billion. That's how much Disney paid for Fox. And you know what? It's uh, worth every penny. At that point, those numbers are fake. Who cares? <laughs> you can't even calculate that. What, that's all that's the, digital money. Just let's, just say, the let's just say it's the, that's the money they paid. If that is it, I, I'd say it's worth it. It's a good, it's a good deal for Walt Disney Company. What do I, you know about acquisitions and billion dollar mergers? I what do think you mean it's a good the deal? intellectual property that they're owning now is is huge. They can well, do. Yes, s- Disney the, now has a monopoly on everything we ever grew up with or watched. They're making. Yeah, they're going to make much. money. They're going to make more than this in a couple of movies. Yeah, it's not going to matter when the world ends anyway. Love <laughs> that. That's my favorite <clears throat> argument. Uh, Who cares if the bees? You know, if they die, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I heard that fucks. argument one time. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's let this train wreck keep moving. As hold, on, t- hold on, hold on. I just want to address that real quick. All right. So there was a meeting about selling credit cards to people, right? And I asked, why is this relevant if the bees die? And no one had a good answer for me. So I continued not to care. <laughs> End story. This guy Moses, the best, uh, best guy I know at parties, keeps the conversation going. <laughs> well, it's not going to matter because we're all going to die anyway. So, so get oh. over it. Have another beer. <laughs> Jump out of an airplane. Drink, drink. drink. You and I are not going to solve this problem. So why are we talking about it? <laughs> well, Michael might. <laughs> That's true. Not you. <laughs> Give me five days. In a Batman suit. <laughs> Batman <laughs> suit. A paper clip and a paper clip stick. and a rubber band. <laughs> I'll have your world peace. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as well, we're jump- I mean, Disney's still gonna make money. What what I wanna know is how's this on demand how's this streaming service gonna work why does everyone and here's another thing why does everyone have to have their own streaming service all of what? a sudden you yeah, notice, you notice the shit's moving backwards like everything is getting more proprietary and like segmented out and now like time warner is gonna have their own thing and now disney's gonna have their own thing and yeah. then fox is gonna have their own thing and they're all just gonna pull in like all the movies that they made you know what i mean they're like only i can show these movies and all of a sudden netflix isn't gonna show shit anymore like there's not one place where you can access all those movies you have to have like 15 like subscriptions just so you can watch all the movies that you want licensing makes everything suck you're gonna end up paying just the same amount that you were paying for your cable bill yeah. more the, yeah if not more it, it's it's it is it is crazy but i'm not opposed to disney uh, this new disney app disney go I, I really like the idea that they're going to open up the Disney Vault and they're going to have actually, all the films. Why, like, on oh. demand, like for a subscription? Like, are they actually going? All to- the films, <laughs> all the cartoons. Is this official? Hey, watch this is official. This is already? this. This was already. Star Wars going to be on there. So th- that everything's going to be there, including the Marvel movies. Yeah, it makes sense. So this mm. is this is some enticing. I would definitely for Simpsons. Uh, yeah, yeah, Simpsons. Simpsons. They have the rights anyway. for it now. <laughs> I mean, it was cool when it first popped out, but you can get all this stuff done yourself. Yeah, you turn, you turn, well, actually, we shouldn't uh, be saying that. That's a lot that. of work. I don't know. You know, I used to be, like, a full-on, like, audio mm-hmm. and video file and, like, just the Blu-rays, you know what I mean? But streaming's so easy now. I don't even give a shit about that quality stuff anymore. Like, picture quality, I'm like, yeah, I don't care if it's pixely for, like, the first three minutes or however long it takes before the picture looks clear. Like, it's so easy just to push buttons on your... TV than to like get a disc and then have it be scratched like always happens. Have you guys ever yeah. watched a full movie pixelated? None of these streaming services <sighs> ever have anything I want to watch sucks. anyway. I think it has too it's much. Rare. I feel like when it has something that you like want to watch, it's something you already went out of your way to like go watch. You know, yeah. like from mm. the beginning. If that makes sense. I catch myself watching familiar things. I don't go and. Try new oh, I've stuff. I've seen that movie. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys reached that age where, like, if you rewatch a movie, you feel like you're wasting time? Yes. I know. I, I all the time. All the time. What else? But, I don't want to do anything else. But I don't want to like, watch. It's like, like oh, I'm just gonna watch <clears throat> Infinity War again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also at that age where you, you start a movie and if the first ten minutes suck, you just turn it off and you don't watch anything anymore. And you just contemplate about killing yourself. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, another story. Right, right. Do any movies suck to you? Uh, <laughs> that's a good. I will get back to you on that one. <laughs> Too positive. <laughs> Too positive. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's continue on down this this weekend news thing. Oh yeah. All right. I have a. Uh, we were th- talking about uh, stuff that happened last week. 
Uh, and I, I wanted to bring up this story here. 50 people were charged by the <laughs> they were charged by the Federalists for taking part in a sinister plot to dupe admissions officials from various universities, including USC, by play, by uh, by paying uh, some guy named uh, William Singer. I guess he's a racketeer to the rich. He was to, he was bribing coaches and falsifying test scores to get his clients' kids into college. That's crazy. Yeah, among the clientele are actresses Felicity Huffman and Full House's Aunt Becky. Lori right. Laughlin. Yeah, who are these people? <laughs> well, I remember Full House. All right. right. I am, That's for it. one, shocked. <laughs> shocked <laughs> that rich people <laughs> are paying no. rich schools for their rich kids to get in not based on merit. I agree. Well, this, is, this is the biggest surprise in the history of news. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> travesty. Pretty remarkable. When that news came out, I actually... The integrity. You know, like, it, the, you know just, rich people just have so much integrity. It makes me sick to my <laughs> stomach, you know, know. Honor, and their kids are wonderful. To smart. To think know? that they have more connections than we do. everyone act shocked when stuff like this comes out? It's not shocking at all. I don't, it's so minor. I guess... It's just an overlay, right, of the issue. Like, oh, hey, we found these guys doing it, so just yeah, remember yeah. that all these assholes do that. That's Have you true. guys seen the video with the girl? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that girl, followers yeah. or whatever. Nitwit. She's a fucking nitwit. She doesn't even want to go to college. She's rich as shit. All she wants to do is put on makeup. But then these rich parents <clears throat> start doing the stuff behind the kid's back to get them on, to get them, on, to get them signed up to college, and it's... It's like a, they're they're waste they're taking the space of people who are more deserving. And I mean, you're right. This has happened for freaking decades. Yeah. Ever since university has been Even up just and in rich. Schools. Are you talking about <clears throat> people not people being qualified for opportunities and not getting like jobs and like positions? That's not new. <laughs> How cool would it be? How cool would it be? You have like a rich uncle who's paying to get you into a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bribe him. You hire him. I <laughs> guess maybe. <laughs> I guess maybe the the other the rest Total of the fun. the high middle class were surprised that they weren't getting you know buildings named after them. They instead they were just paying some dude just to do these backdoor uh, well, shenanigans. That's cheaper. That was a thing, it's cheaper, though, yeah. right? See, the old fashioned way is they donate a library. Yeah, donate, you're right. <laughs> donate yeah. a gymnasium. <laughs> old fashioned you know? way. That's how you get it done. See these rich people just looking for deals, and look, they got popped. Yeah. UCLA could use an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Do you no, guys fun. think that these students should be removed? I mean, they didn't know what was I going think on. They should be. Uh, they, 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 they knew. All right. They, 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 come on. I think they should be uh, publicly shamed, right? At they least. should be drawn and quartered, and then they should cut their heads off. Mm. They should. They, they need to taking off. extreme positions with everything nowadays because you can't convince anyone anymore. <laughs> like, you know, like, I believe what I believe. So there's no point in arguing. Let's just go extreme measure. Why don't we just get them naked like in Game of Thrones and have them walk down the streets? That is shame. a public shaming. Shame, yeah, shame. <laughs> yeah, like, or put, you know, the tar and feathers, public shame. Oh, the, yeah, there you go, the tar and feathers. <laughs> now that's how you're talking. hot tar, though. <laughs> just kill them. Good old colonial style. <laughs> Death to them. <laughs> Easy. Uh, whatever. Said like, and at done. this point, like, who cares? Yeah. College is gay anyway. It's all for that. <laughs> no one here finished. <laughs> gay, gay in the nineties sense, not you know, not, not the new, oh, not the new As soon one. as you have to defend it, it becomes a problem. Yeah, that's true. Look, yeah. We're all guilty of it. Look, back in the day, gay just used to mean you know, like dumb. Sucks. Yeah, like not you know. I had no idea gay people I'm... existed when I learned the word gay. <laughs> really? It's actually passable. Or oh. you know, because mm-hmm. it's true. Yeah. Like, that was just the expression for it. They didn't have uh, homosexuals on the Disney Channel. I mean, <laughs> apparent. <laughs> was, yeah, like, out there. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. That was so another goofy true. movie. <laughs> and I was young enough to enjoy the goofy movie at the time. Wait, who was getting the goofy movie? <laughs> the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Actors, bro. <laughs> Well, I, I think we could spend a whole podcast apologizing for our generation, but I'm we not going should. to. No, let's do it. <laughs> We're <laughs> totally not going to go to do it. Uh, you know what? Just just grow a backbone and a sense of humor, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or don't. Please go do. fuck yourself. You could tweet that. You could tweet that at us, by the way. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, uh, guys. We uh, what about the trailers that just came out today? I just sent you guys links to the new, the new trailers to Toy Story Four, and um, I know this is an odd one: Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. I don't know about that, that one seems that's, pretty that's cool. badass, isn't it? I, I mean, why? Batman would so kill like the Ninja Turtles, but I disagree. It's fun. <laughs> So now this is th- it like versus the Ninja Turtles and Splinter? Yeah, that yeah, might be a game might be right Splinter there. will definitely be in it if it's based off the comic uh, miniseries, which it looks like it is. It Splinter will be in it. I don't even think it has to be like Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. It could just be like Batman versus Splinter, and I think that would be yeah, that would be the epic fight. <laughs> Actually, that's probably going to be the epic fight. You will see end. some Splinter versus Batman. That's crazy. So what? Batman's cleaning up the streets from radioactive. Uh, but like Splinter's like a master, though. I feel like no matter how advanced Batman is, I think Splinter could take him in a one-on-one. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's a good like, fight. All he has to do is bite him. You get him in a dojo. True. Get the disease in there. <laughs> do bats hate turtles? Is that is that the thing? Is that what they're going? No, with? it's a whole mixed universe thing. Like the universes, you know, collided together, so they 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 switch dimensions and. And then now there we go. Always, it's, it's, always yeah. with the dimensions. Yeah, yeah. They should just be in the same world. <laughs> it's a whole What's Flintstones and Jetsons thing. Don't worry about it. I don't it. get it. Ninja Turtles was in New York, right? These turtles. Oh, there's, there's, there's no New Gotham. York. There's, there's no New shit. York in uh, DC. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, New York. Hmm. <laughs> Who cares? It's turtles. a fucking comic book. Make it up. You're gonna love it. That's mm-hmm. all I can say. It's gonna it's be gonna really be good. For kids. And it's, I like Shredder's uh, look. I like Shredder's very, very uh, classic comic book Shredder look. Well, the best Wait, part. So is, the best part in the whole thing is when he's holding that ooze, and they take it to the Joker. <laughs> we already. <laughs> it's gonna get interesting. We already <laughs> saw that in the in the games. Yeah, that's why I, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's fun. Okay, so it's. Uh, but what if it just makes him sane? Like he's, <laughs> that's the opposite effect. He's not even like yeah, he comes yeah, down. He's not like formidable like back, like a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do anything when Batman like beats his ass. He doesn't even <laughs> fight Batman. He's like, I'm ready to prosecute them. As soon as <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Okay, I got. I have a recommendation. Batman White Knight. If you want to see a sane Joker, read that that comic book series. Pass. That he. He, he goes sane. He does prosecute. No, no it's, it's yeah, he does. He does. He starts taking this, this these pills that. Okay, anyways, I'm going off tangent. Okay, okay, okay. Look, the next the next uh, trailer was Toy Story four. Not that hit all everybody in the feels, right? Uh, I just didn't watch it. No, I I turned it on and stopped watching immediately because I don't give a shit. I was at work. No, this isn't really a Pixar guy. No, I, 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 mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't really care. I'm huge. I'm huge on. I Toy think Story. they're good movies. They're good like, movies. I just don't like. Care. I get big when I watch. Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because children, say that. children's toys do it for you. Huh? Oh <laughs> come on, man! You had to go there. We, toys. We are, learn more about Oscar about every day. Toys. You literally just went there. <laughs> <laughs> toys in general do it for him. It's called Toy Story, not Kid Story. All right. Not, I thought I thought toys do it for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> toys to have episode, a special you know, he's, he's a toy collector toys have a special place in my heart called, and that's why F- Toy Story 4 is a must watch I'm, I'm going to see it uh, hopefully opening opening night yes because uh, it, it does look like it's it, it looks like a great movie my kids are into it still we still have a Buzz Lightyear Woody around RC Bullseye the whole gang is at home and there's still a good strong following at home so we'll definitely go see it They'll have female toys in that movie too. The, you uh, you got a rule with your letting your kids see you cry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm 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 strong enough a man to to lay out my feelings sometimes. Yeah, what about them? Think about what you're doing to them. Uh, you know that mo- you know that moment when when they're about to hit that incinerator. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they had over three? like yeah. what six years <laughs> now. Yeah, I'd imagine I'm sitting there with my dad. He fucking pops up and he starts crying. <laughs> you're like, you're not my dad. Yeah, that's like, this is total bullshit. You shamed me. Hey, uh, my dad was crying like right before the incinerator torture thing. Oh man, <laughs> my dad's a pansy. <laughs> my dad could beat up your dad. My dad's gonna kick your ass just from me telling him about that. <laughs> Poor dad. I is know. This the last one. Have they said this is gonna be the last one? No, no, they haven't said on, anything. Toy Story 10. They said Toy Story 3 was supposed to be the last one, but... It could have been. 
It could have been. Right yeah. They still gotta do Toy Story: The Revenge, End Game. So what are they gonna put in this <laughs> one? Is there Toy gonna Story be Infinity War? <laughs> what is it? Is there gonna be just like a tablet, like an evil tablet that's gonna? Oh uh, yeah. You know, eventually it's gonna get there, right? Yeah. Uh, like, is that what it's gonna be? Yeah, obviously from the trailer that you didn't see, like that's mind, exactly mind it. That's just gonna destroy it. Wait, but is. <laughs> Wait, who would get the Infinity Gauntlet, though? Ham or Potato Head? <laughs> ham. <laughs> I feel, ham. Well, I feel like the T-Rex guy is going to try and get it first, but it won't fit on his little hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. And they have, like, one of those funny scenes where he's trying to put it on different parts of his body. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that would be one credits oh, thing. Oh, oh, oh. It's going to be a toy that's actually a toy hand, like the whole body is just a hand. You think they'll throw in a Marvel toy just for the cross? Ah, uh, they probably would because they're lame. You know, I was watching Wreck-It Ralph 2 the other day. Gay! And there is Oscar. <laughs> we don't use that word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you guys, do you not like the first one? Did you guys see the first one? Oh, no, first one was, was good. Fun. No, it was good. Yeah. yeah, it was great. What the fuck are you talking I'm about? Just saying. <laughs> Finish your thought. <laughs> there's just a saying. wrench in there. Gay! <laughs> Um, no, but that's what like, I say when I yawn. There's like this part where like Disney totally is like plugging all its own like shit mm-hmm. like where all the princesses are there oh, and then she gets true. chased by like stormtroopers and stuff and you realize that Disney has a monopoly on everything that <laughs> matters yeah. Yeah. That's, true. that's just like did a thing huh did you we, see that we, we have it. <laughs> it we we have these <laughs> they like reminding you yeah do they feel that like they that's fun everything. like is it is it fun f- I think something. it's like a marketing thing. It was actually kind of depressing, sucks. like, to be honest. It is. Like, watching yeah. that movie. It's annoying, I think. Yeah. I saw the trailers, and they showed, like, things of those back in the day. Yeah. 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 Disney. Stupid. You know, whatever. It's the end game. <laughs> <laughs> Read a prophecy in the Bible, you'll... But in a way, it kind of, like... It's revelations, oh, yeah, revelations. <laughs> It, like, cheapens, like, the depth that, like, these hero movies... Like, okay, let me preface it. Like, I... I I like the Marvel movies, right? But there's only a certain level that they, like, go to. Mm. Like, they hit, like, this wall, and then they start focusing on, like, you know, action. There's not any, like, really deep, like, character pieces coming out of, like, these films anymore. And I feel like that was something that used to happen once in a great while, like, with superhero movies. I feel like it just becomes kind of, like, stagnant. Like, we kind of watch the same movie, like, over and over again. And, I mean, they do a good job... Like, for what they are, but, like, I don't feel like we're ever going to see the depth that, like, we used to see Once in a Great While with, like, hero movies. Or just, like, creativity, right? Like, new people, new yeah. characters. Like, well, example, our build, that whole Build-A-Warrior thing we did. Yeah. Like, episode you didn't see anything like that? I think. No. Yeah. You know, you're not. You know why? Because it doesn't <clears throat> already exist in comic book form. Plus, they always need to, like, tie everything together. Like, a movie can't have really high stakes because this character needs to stay around and they need to be in the team-up movie, you know what I mean? Like, exactly, always, yeah. Like, there's, no, there's, like, no, there's investment. no danger. You don't worry about that yeah. character surviving or anything like that. Yeah, they need to milk that character for what he's worth. Or her, sorry. And, I mean, we know that like, the characters are going to come back even if they do off them because that's just the way comic books work. But do you feel like, let's say they... I, I feel like they tried with Iron Man. Like, like when they when they reached Iron Man three, they didn't get the response they they wanted, and they just went back to just. Is, did Disney own them? Yeah, already? they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I feel like that didn't have a lot of Disney input on it. Mm-hmm. Iron Man three. That one was still kind of adventurous, quote unquote. I mean, it sucked, but <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> it was yeah. still kind of adventurous. It wasn't like you know. Mm-hmm. Like I can't read. Was it better than Iron Man two? I did no. Iron Man two sucked. But was Iron Man three better than Iron Man? 2? Oh, I say yes, but not by much. <laughs> I might. I might <laughs> by a hair agree with you on that. Actually, hmm. no, yeah, I don't know. Okay, worst point. Marvel movie. Go. <clears throat> worst Marvel movie. Yeah, in the whole thing. Jeez, that's tough. No, it's not. <laughs> Thor? No. Why does everyone hate on the Thor movies? I would go with Thor. Sorry. You, the, first the, first Thor? the first The first one. The first. No, actual. it's Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> what? What? Oh, no, not Ragnarok. The blood one. Oh, okay. Dark uh, World? The, what was, is that what it was called? Yeah. The Dark, Dark World. That one was Yeah, cool. yeah. 
I Okay, they all all Thor. I know it's not true to like the character or whatever. But I, I, for one, didn't think that their little comic relief was, like, stupid. I thought it was, like, whatever. It was fine, right? There's no way that Thor The Dark World is worse than the first Captain America movie. I liked the first Oh, I yeah, forgot how much that one sucked. Do. Wow, you guys. That did suck. Yeah. How, yeah. Long, how long was that hangar in the mountain? Like, the size of the world? <laughs> no, because the plane's driving. 30 for like hours 10 of minutes. innocent flight. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. I'll eventually get out of here. <laughs> Maybe it was because of the Tesseract. They'd explain it as, like, you know, reality doubling over itself. That's not the Tesseract's power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just trying to give them credit. I'm going to say it was sl- very slow. And lame. Yeah. No, uh, I, I'm not gonna go like that. I, I mean, it's slow, but I'm not gonna say lame and stupid because that's lame a t- and stupid. It they give this it guy was... superhuman ability and they put him in a theater show. If anything, they would have never really given him to the even, world. And just so, but that's even, accurate even arguing, to his story. Even arguing like semantics like that, well, like I don't stupid, even feel like that was like the worst part. I just feel like that. <laughs> no, movie, don't say it's the worst part. Was it was like, a part that yeah. stuck out. It was but dumb. that. Yeah, that movie was just. And this floating head on that little skinny body. I hate that stuff. I need to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, when he was, like, scrawny. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. floating there, dude. That's dumb. It's like those dumb stormtroopers from... Or the clone troopers, remember? Oh, from episode three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. Um, yeah, no, Captain America is by far the worst one. No, Which no, one? No. Thor. Mm. No. Yeah, I don't know. I... I st- I don't hate on Captain America as much as as the, as others here on the table. But, um, We're but, talking about the movie now. Like the character's fine. I feel right. like Winter Soldier was good. You know, Civil War is good. Yeah. yeah Civil War. By the way, it, it def- sucks. It sucks when a character's movie gets hijacked by like Marvel wanting to cram like more heroes. In yeah. There, you know. Yes. Because yeah. like he didn't even really have like his own third movie. It was just. Civil War. Yeah, like, uh, like it was, it was, it was like Avengers team. 2, like, B. Yeah. yeah. And it was so. like a decaf Civil War. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. Right. Um, Let's just find <laughs> a little bit in the uh, airport. And Trim. Super decaf. You're right. Yeah, that it's, one. It's, no. It was that kind of coffee where you take a sip and like, is this coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it's decaf. I was like, yeah, I knew it was decaf, but it... It's not coffee. It's just like brown <laughs> water. It's brown water and it's That's hot. a good way to sum it up. Like no steaks <laughs> at Nothing, all. Nothing, man. It's just water with uh, with coloring and Spider-Man in those lame pajamas. Oh, uh, yeah. So the worst, that for me is the worst Spider-Man costume. What, the new one? The one from Civil War. The uh, one from Civil War? Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. What was wrong with it? Too bright. Oh, it was too, too bright, bright for me. Yeah. Like, who picked this blue and red? That's true. You know, like, it's it's a little kind bright. of the most. That didn't bother me. Yeah, didn't bother. It no. doesn't have to bother you guys. I don't care if it does. I, just, <laughs> I like the black. Yeah. I like the black rim around his eyes more. I like that it reacts with his like. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I thought cool, that was a nice but the touch. Rest of it, I was like, man, eh, pajamas. Did he or didn't he? I don't recall. Did he? Did any point during his his time on film did he have the web underneath his arms at all? No, he had the he glides. The... He did that in Homecoming, I want to say. Right, so, right. Yeah. That's kind. Of, that's a nice touch. That's cool. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> we're going through news stuff. Yeah, we were going all through that. <laughs> <laughs> we just completely went off tangent. Let me retry here. So Captain Marvel, skip it. All right, I'm not gonna be one of these fucking losers. Like, oh, that movie sucked, but you should go see it. No, 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 no. no, no. I stick by my reviews. Out. Skip the movie. It's yeah, fun. just watch one of those YouTube things. Catch you up on Captain Marvel before the Avengers movie. <laughs> Look, we, we, we'll Although be I'm right pretty back sure, I it. guarantee you, almost that the Avengers movie is going to try and explain her anyway, even though we saw it. That's true. Right? <laughs> yeah, because it's too close. It's yeah, too close to the I feel release. Like that's what's going to happen. Well, let's take a break, guys. Oh, you weren't recording that? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will talk about the same thing again. Uh, that was okay. <laughs> let's go back. And we're back. <laughs> I, I know I said that. Oh, did you? Really? <laughs> no, no, not really. Oh, I, was just... I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. No, we're trying. We're And we're back. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's say it like this. And we're back. So, Michael, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, you try. Yeah, you try. Tom. I'll do this. 
we're back. <laughs> All right, coming back to going down the news here. Uh, yeah, so depressing. Just who cares? <laughs> this isn't even a round no, no, table. No, the, the, the news is just you know here's the bullet it's point. Current events. What? It's current events. It starts with some murder in New Orleans, and then it ends up with someone complaining about the last Star Wars movie. <laughs> That's, <laughs> pretty know, accurate. Like That's pretty five, accurate. Actually, yeah, it shows like a little thing at the end. It's like thirty minutes later, and that's why I will never go back to that casino. <laughs> it's it leads to tirades, it leads to rants, it leads to palaver. It's uh, <laughs> revelance. Why don't you hunker down by this fire and join me in some palaver? <laughs> <laughs> Bring your old chewing tobacco. The man who can't share his habit shouldn't have it. Huh. Hmm. I never yeah. thought about it that way before. <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. So last week, um, we had a uh, incident at the border, right down over in IB in Pearl Beach. Uh, yeah, our hometown. Oh, shout out. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of Mexican immigrants. They were able to penetrate the the wall again, <laughs> and they 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 got through about twenty or so. Conspiracy theory. People. It's a plant. He's Uh-oh. trying to show why we need a wall by faking <laughs> entry well, by penetrating quote unquote the wall. Well, if we've learned anything from World War Z. Yeah, Mexicans they... are just going to pile on top of each other to get over the wall. <laughs> so the only answer is for all <laughs> Americans to get AIDS, and then they won't want to come over here. That's true. You know, get the disease and then, you know, stop spreading. But what happened, Michael? It's probably my cousin. Did you call Mexicans a zombie virus? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> answer the question. I did. <laughs> That's ten years Speaking later. Speaking to the mic, sir? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Wow. Well, Moses Ocas is in front of the House Foreign Relations Committee. <laughs> that was the scene earlier today as Moses Ocas is took to the Senate floor. Dude, <laughs> could you imagine? Did that's I, that's how I know I made it. Like, I'm answering questions. <laughs> oh, <in front laughs> that's true. Uh, yes. I'm a pariah. I have no recollection. Oh, yeah, that's the... Bu- I have no recollection. <laughs> did you or did you not murder those two children? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't recall. Well, it works for uh, works for our little government. It's got to work for everyone else. That's We're supposed true. to be equal, right? Yeah. So right. this so this whole sh- thing happened on the same week where Trump vetoed the um, the reversal of the national emergency uh, authorization. It looks like the Congress, both the House and the Senate, voted to uh, rescind the national the po- national emergency powers. But Trump used his veto power, and the Republicans are not going to be going two thirds against the president. What? That's so. That's so funny, right? Like I'm doing this emergency act, and I'm going to do this. Well, no, we're saying no. Well, I'm vetoing your no. <laughs> These are checks and balances. Come at me, bro. Yeah, I mean, kinda... s- s- yeah, they're not going to do it. They're they're going to stand by the party line, and they're right now the president is Republican, no matter you know is love he? him or hate him. <laughs> I didn't know this. Shut up. <laughs> Adults are talking about politics. <laughs> Sit this one out. Revelation, sir. <laughs> it's <a> read revelations, <laughs> people. <laughs> and so it came to pass a reality star would become lord of the highest <laughs> order. <laughs> Good God! I hope they're not playing a drinking game by that. <laughs> but okay, what what do you guys think about this bullshit? Wait, wait, wait what, how whoa, did whoa, they whoa, get whoa. through? They jumped it. They no, they it. cut through. Nice. They cut through the, the wiring between the metal between the the, the iron bars. Wait a minute! They only and have they, sticks and rocks over there. I thought the hell didn't they, they show that they could do that like a few weeks ago anyway? From the prototypes that Trump was looking at. The, the prototypes were solid. Oh. They didn't have any like any separation between them. Wait, uh, there was a prototype where he was talking about steel slats, and they showed that you could cut through that too. They yeah. cut the new. You can wall? cut through everything, unless yeah. it's made of it's, diamond. I mean, the new wall, pretty much cut through that. No, no, no. Wall. It's the same. It's the, oh, same, it's old the same old shitty wall, wall that oh, we have. Just make it a little thicker. And he can't cut through it. Right. Yeah, just put guns on it. Yeah, turrets. <laughs> Guys, yeah, if you... That's, the, that's how you do it. Bullets cheaper than a wall. If you don't know what we're talking about, just go on the Facebook... Um, Palaver Project Facebook page. I did do that's a video... A <laughs> 
sense. I, I, I told you, I'm going extreme with everything now. I don't believe in any of this anymore, so I'm just going to go extreme. You assholes want a better life, you're dead. <laughs> If you, want, <laughs> if you want a more sensible take, just go on the Facebook page. Take a look at the video. I did like a seven-minute video on the wall. On location, too. So we actually get to see the wall. Yeah, but oh, I God. think the guns the guns should spin both ways. <laughs> so to shoot. Like if other Americans get close to the wall, too. So who has control? Mexico or United States? No one. No one. Yeah. It's just it's just automatic. Third just party. shoots at anybody. It's a lottery, bro. You, <laughs> walk in, you walk in, you buy a ticket, it might be your time. Yeah, there you go. That's true. It could read your fear and it Keep just shoots you away from that wall. Michael so it, going down there. With I his. want to get to the point. I want to get to the point where the wall becomes sentient, like Skynet. Well, can we get back just to that wall? To Michael's delusions of grandeur, like he's an embedded reporter down there by the wall, shooting a video. <laughs> in his back, the walls in his backyard. He's got the whole setup like back I'm down right? here. The woods crazy the best. over here. I can't he's believe it. Yeah, vest on the he's helmet. got the flat jacket. <laughs> Pretty loud over here, Tom. It's just some kid trying to sell him chicle. What do you say? I've been accosted <laughs> every Look time I turn around. It's it's out of control. Do you like chicklets, sir? <laughs> Get away from me, scum! Oh my God, shots are being fired. <laughs> There's a little, little bubble. Right? <laughs> it's pure pandemonium, people. <laughs> Grab your kids, get uh, your wife out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shit on your video, Michael. No, no, you, you, you totally have been shitting on every single fucking thing we brought up today. That was a good but, video. No, continue. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you haven't seen the video. It was video. a good video. It was high quality. Whatever, it was whatever. At least 720p. All right, not. all right, guys. It's not about my video, it's about the topic. It's about Let's, the Batman suit. What do you guys you. fucking think about the, this whole immigration thing? We talked about it before. Uh, now Thomas is here. I mean, mm. do you guys? Other than saying I don't give a fuck, it's a useless thing to talk about. Let's let's just humor me here. Humor uh, the podcast listeners. Let's I'm make up. A... All right, then. <laughs> Oscar. What do you think about this? About the wall thing? Because they not only did they do this in IB, but they did this in Arizona just a couple of days ago. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about your cousins trying to break through the wall? I mean, I'm over? sure, and I'm sure <laughs> they had something to do with it. I mean, come on! No, the 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 mob the mob's already digging holes underneath that thing. Yeah, they're going through old time. If they're cutting straight through the wall, actually, you know, props to them because like this is actually the first I've heard them hold actually on, cutting. Hold on. I need to check you real quick. The old time one is not mobsters. Old time? What are you yeah. talking about? What do you mean? Old time. It's cartels. No, it's not a cartel. Well, well, who is, is it? it? Sasquatch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It all makes sense. It all, yeah. Now you begin to understand. <laughs> and also, he's invisible. He's so terrain. <laughs> I think he's El Chapo. So if he just, shaped no, like he, he shaped all El the Chapo's body hair. Boss. Uh, he's the real jefe. He's the real jefe? Yeah, he's the real jefe. Holy How now. do you say Bigfoot in Spanish? At the end. Oh. Yeah, grande. That's good. I like that. It's terrible. Grande. We don't use like Yeti or anything like that. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what is the Mexican word for Bigfoot? Like the real one. Mexicans are so lazy, they just say Bigfoot. Bigfoot. El Bigfoot. El Bigfoot. <laughs> El Bigfoot. <laughs> no, that's, that's a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> it is. Bigfoot. It is? Yeah, he wrestles like every Friday over there in the <laughs> auditorium. <laughs> well, that's a On shame. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Well, okay, what, but yeah, yeah. What did you think about it? Yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, oh. I mean, is this gonna give? Is this fuel to the fire to for yes. Trump's crusade? Uh, well, of course. Anything that has to do with the border just helps Trump, our president, what, whether you like it or saying? not. What are you talking about? He's still asking for another eight yeah, billion he's, in he's the budget for money. the because wall. He doesn't want to lose. Like his whole, whole campaign was built on building you? the wall, so he wants to get that done before so, he gets voted out. So how, how I much mean, did I it might, start at? Right? He's not going to get voted out. What was the original billion, though. Michael, that he wanted? How many billions did he want for that wall? What was the original estimate? What was it? It was insane, right? Fourteen. Wasn't it for 14? the full wall? 14 for, billion? It's pretty 14. logical. Then they got it down to five, then he went to eight. Like, it was going He's back and such forth. such a good negotiator. He, it's he insane. is the best negotiator. No, I'm the best. He's such a good negotiator. <laughs> you know, he actually might it's get gonna, that 14. It's going to be great. a bunch of dummies and the highest IQ. If he if he still China. does his still uses his national emergency powers, gets seven billion from there, gets eight billion in the budget. That's thirteen there. He's only one billion off from what he wanted to do. See, 
Huh? And you guys call him not a good negotiator. It doesn't seem like no matter, like, how strongly people feel, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because all the shit just plays out anyway. Like, even, like, people that, like, strongly, like, oppose this stuff, they just get undercut by, like, Democratic, like, senators and stuff, too. That's true. You know, yeah. the people making the money are the reporters and, you know, CNN. It's, 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 a, it's a rating fake fake news. That's fake news. <laughs> that... I will say it's fake it is news. fake news, though. We're no, the real news. I, I I see the real push and in, in, on on the Mexican uh, networks, like for Uni, Univision, yeah, the, which is owned by by NBC Universal. It's Univision, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I right. know. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not using my Mexican, but um, but they they really push, just saying like straight out, Donald Trump is illegally doing this. They say it straight out ac- with this accusation that he's doing this illegally. Um, that's they're already a spin. Doing they're spinning illegally. it, and and we Michael, know that no they're one in positions in power, and the government could do anything illegal. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I know, I know the, the audacity of these people to go and report to their ma- to the masses. It's the poor of... gullible fools. Are his kids going to jail or not? His kids? Yeah, not. As of now, no, they're not actually. Not until the Mueller report. And you know what? The Mueller report feels like it's going to be like the second coming of Christ. It's never going to happen. Revelation. We're never going to see it. I'm not going to say it's never going to happen. I mean, it's eventually going to happen. But it's, it's going to be so way after. And like, they'll be so redacted. People think that it's going to be like it's going to get Trump removed from office, and it's not going to do any of that mm. stuff. Like, yeah. And you know what? He probably does win a second term. But like yeah, he the will. way that the Democrats are like. In like fighting with, with each other, right? And then how you have clowns like Howard Schultz that are going to run independent and like split the vote, you know? Or exactly. Bernie's going to run independent, and split the vote He's because you have win. all these like idiot like uh, what do you call it? like junior like Marxist voting for him? You know what I mean? That's right. True. You you got the split with with Cory Booker. You got Kamala Harris, who's an asshole. Um, By the way, I want to go back to something that you said. You told me okay that you would vote for Trump yeah. in the upcoming election. Yes. And uh-huh. your reason was that Democrats were using the opportunity to grandstand in official like questioning like sessions and things like that, right? Yeah, the committees have been such a show, shit show yeah, like yeah, everything yeah. I've watched. Okay. Then why would you vote for the grandstanding Guy, yeah, I don't understand that, that. guy's whole you... deal is built off of like grandstanding for things that he doesn't His even entire know about. Life is grandstanding. Why would that be something you know? I don't like that these Democrats are taking the spotlight. You're talking about the most narcissistic, high profile person in the history of like the last like 50 years, and you're like, oh, you know what, Trump. Michael, what are you Wait, because talking every, about? Because instead of attacking, instead of attacking the um, Donald Trump and playing his game, the Democrats really need to be doing is selling their agenda and selling their platform and selling their their message better. Instead of attack going on the attack on Trump, even their 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 leader Nancy Pelosi mentioned. We're not gonna go. We we should need us to get off this whole um, this whole impeachment talk. It's not it's not helping the the party. It's just making us look like we're our agenda is to get rid of this guy. With it should be though. It's but it's not the only thing that's bothering the people of the United States. Not just getting it bothers me. He's bothers a distraction, a and he's your no, your fault. He's our president. It. You can't call our president a simple distraction. He's a he's the our guy. Our president signs is the bills. A, a distraction. I would find the okay, Congress. Okay, hold on. Let's scale it back. Okay. Why would you vote for Donald Trump? I would vote for him because I feel like he is actually sticking to the message he has. Like you, you mentioned it earlier. What does that mean? What? So he has like a shitty they message, and because message. he's like sticking to it, all of a sudden, like that's why you vote. I for him? do believe in the border security. Uh, I uh, like Hitler. He really did say that he was gonna, you know, get rid of them Jews. So <laughs> he's sticking he's by his guns. <laughs> all right, look. 
Trump isn't the first guy who wanted border security. There's every like from from Clinton to, and to Obama, Obama and Bush. Border security. Everybody wants like his approach. You don't like his approach, but he's getting he's he is he's moving the big ball big. along. He's That's moving true. it long farther than than Obama By has. Adding his pockets with government contracts so he could help build the wall. Everybody. Where were those government like contracts going? Money's going with their steel. You want to go overseas? Yeah, you want to go to Afghanistan? You want to go to Syria, Iraq, or Iran? This guy's just cutting straight through. He's just he's put, what, he's out. So he can keep like most of the money. This doesn't benefit you guys at all. What are you talking about? Oh, it's going to stay in America. No, it's going to stay with him. What are you talking about? It's going to stay with the top one percent. That doesn't have anything to do with you guys. You're not going to see shit from that. That's what I'm I got saying. A, why, I got a good we, What are you turn? talking <laughs> about? Why are we jumping on board with with people who would just as soon like bury us? Like who? You know, the rich do not give a fuck him, about yeah. us at all. But like, I'm not. Why, why do you get? Why you, even you when you pretend that you like Trump? Why do you do that? I got good taxes. Good, a good, ca- a no, good tax. No, you did return. it. I yes, bet. I How did. much you want to bet? That's from Obama. That's I, not even from I've Trump. Always got Trump three, doesn't give a fuck about the middle I always class. Got Obama got the economy thing going long before, and Trump likes to tout but, that that was I mean, all. But the tax, the tax reform bill in a downturn now. That's weird. The Thomas, the tax reform bill happened during the Republican Congress during the Trump administration. Bill means that you can't claim like a bunch of pipe work expenses. There's like a ton they of things that you could do. claim last year that you can't claim this year. They all do. But it, the, it doubled the... Obama did that. They all do. They it all, doubled the like, standard deduction. The pluses from their predecessors. Appeal. And, appeal to ignorance. Examples. That's what they do. Give me examples. No. They no. All do no. That. I'm not, no. I'm not selling for that. <laughs> Give me specifics. What are you talking about? <sighs> It doubled the standard deduction, which oh, helped out a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what? Did you not have examples and facts to back up I your mean, argument? I, guess we, we <laughs> I thought I go. did, but I guess not. Yeah, but is that fine when it's lumped in with how much uh, was given to the the top percentage? The like, you're okay with fantastic. that? As long as I got, like, another thousand, it's all right that those, the rich they assholes got billions. the biggest cuts ever. That he comes out straight going, like, I just made you guys a whole lot richer. <laughs> the, <laughs> that doesn't bother you. The rich was going to get rich no that. matter what. So, oh, well, that's tax great. Let's just give what? up. <laughs> Let's roll. Okay, so wait, let me, is what is the Democratic? Is the okay, about? wait, 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 wait. What's the Democrat plan against this? Against the rich? Against the one percent? What is their plan? Okay, Introduce so, me a plan, and then I'll, I'll oh, yeah, consider voting, taking my vote away from Trump to the next Democrat upstart. I love that argument, though, dude. It's simply like... I'm not saying Hillary Trump, Clinton. We have Trump, and we just go with Trump just because now. Like, that's what it is. Like, you have to be 100% on board with everything that the Democrats are going to fucking do. If I can find one Democrat I that have... just slightly disagrees with, like... You know some of this stuff and wants to like turn things over just a bit. I have to believe. And maybe someone who's not up there telling all the fucking rich in our faces that I'm going to make you a whole lot richer. I want coal mines to come back. <laughs> I want this and that. Why is that okay? That's not okay, dude. We wouldn't fucking want to be. We wouldn't want to work for this guy. And you're going to vote for him. Yeah, well, bees are gonna die soon, so uh... so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, there you go. And Trump, Trump's not gonna help the bees. <laughs> so you find me a Democrat who cares about the bees, and that's where my vote's going. Uh, Do a uh, tax deduction for the bees. When it's something like, completely something useless. Like, yeah, <laughs> and that calls everyone's concerns. Like, oh, all right, that's fair. Well, you know, what? Well, they have had a rough time. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Revelation Sanders people. comes out talking about bees. Take we gotta shot. help the bees. <laughs> Revelations. <laughs> it's in Revelations, people. <laughs> that does need to be a soundbite. That's good. It does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I like Bernie, but I gotta see what where Bernie stands because Ber- Bernie Michael, that in the is position an extreme opposite of Trump. What do you tell? What What do you stand for? What do you mean opposite? Like, oh, I'm a over Trump. Or I'm going to vote for the extreme opposite <laughs> socialist. Like, well, who's your guy? You know what? I like that. No, okay, that's listen, good. listen. That's good. I like that. Oh, yeah. You know, it's okay. either Trump or Bernie. <laughs> because well, let's, let's start forcing some action here. Yeah, you know? yeah, let's hear it. Let's, I want to hear it. That's well, look, I have to say. can I fucking talk? And that's why I'm helping you. If, if I think <laughs> Bernie can be effective. If he was in that position, he could be effective, but he needs a strong backing. And this year, he's a little older, and I think he's going to lose a lot of votes. Okay? Because of all... Because it's all the... That's true. <laughs> No, he wasn't vulnerable. 
he's like a, a Benjamin Button thing, but he's not. He's not going in reverse. He's still going the other direction. He's <laughs> just been eighty for fucking eighty years. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this topic bores me. Let's go to something else. What else is in the news? Uh, yeah, there is no win in this one. Yeah, there is no. There's no, no wait, 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 no, no. I'll finish my fucking thought. <laughs> go, go. I'll finish, finish my fucking thought. thought. Nice. Okay, look, Ber- Bernie. Bernie's a good candidate. Okay, I liked him when he was running against Trump before, but he was. But you know, saw how the DNC fucked him over. Mm. He did you win. S- he did win. He did win, but he yeah. got fucked oh, over. Yeah, that's true. And that sucks. I like that Donna Brazil just picked up her new job over at Fox. <laughs> and, you know, so that looks that shows you where loyalty stands in the Democratic Party. Oh yeah. So what the fuck is up with that? I don't get it. Why'd you look at me or <laughs> Like I'm the poster child for the Democratic yeah. fucking party. Convince me I shouldn't vote for Trump. I'm I'm no, I'm, I'm trying no. to convince myself Why? that Bernie's a Why? good pick. I don't want to. I don't want to anymore. I think we should just shoot you. <laughs> this is a new thing. You're oh, that's right. Anyway. There's no fucking convincing people. This is just pandemonium. He's so now everyone should go out instead of voting. Left. Instead of voting, go out and shoot each other. And his name. Yeah, but the Republicans is have all the John guns. Cena. <laughs> <laughs> just have John uh, Cena like freaking tackle anybody that fucking... disagrees. Uh, oh well. What's John Cena's move called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't what? know. I just remember the song. Oh, what yeah. the F you? The, the Transformers. Five knuckle shuffle. What the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> po- post the video of Stone Cold stunning Donald Trump. <laughs> no, <laughs> over over the video over of Stone Cold <laughs> smacking the beers together. That was, <laughs> that was a great image. <laughs> <laughs> worthy that politics boring. You can't turn around without seeing some bullshit about politics. Worthy gift. I right sure think politics is boring. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not. Pretty cool. Not at all. It's, it's just for people. For those who are un- unarmed, it sucks. But for those who actually listen to it and have an opinion, by all means, share it. I think it's fun finding out who's a bunch of fascist pigs. <laughs> 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 Who would have totally chilled when the Third Reich was rising, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I'll be... know you would have. You guys like being a part of something? I think, I think it's really easy <laughs> to succumb to, like, yeah. hyperbole and, like, extreme examples. And oh. that's why there's, like, such a disconnect now, because people get divided by focusing on, like, extremes, you know? And it's like one extreme versus the other. And it's like, how could someone think that way? Like, they're obviously wrong. But that's like not, it's weird. Like, we're, I feel like we're more divided than like ever. But mm-hmm. I think a lot of people agree on like a lot of like. Eh, I think we're as divided as we've always been. That's what I, I think. So you just I think, think that's it's the truth. I think now. it's always just it's been just like highlighted that. now. I think it's just highlighted, the difference yeah. this time is we have like a, a oversized pimple. Hmm. on our face you know that show you know what i mean like you're you have a focal point you have a yeah. focal point trump's a focal point for and he's you know he, it's he's one that person. one pimple you that ruins your entire trump. complexion yeah. you don't you know? think of a trump administration you're just thinking of him yeah that's true there's <laughs> that's the like difference the numbers you know? in the back yeah you know. so i i want to apologize because i don't usually get worked up about politics because like i recognize that i don't know enough like i'm not listening to podcasts i'm not listening to npr you know what i mean i'm not watching fox news i'm not watching cnn i'm not reading drudge report and all that shit you know what i mean so i hesitate to say really strong views because there's obviously something that i'm missing here because there there are very smart people that are still you know like vote like republican and preach like fiscal responsibility and stand for like this whole thing and i like i understand that stuff you know what i mean like i don't I'm not, like, socialist, like, by any means or anything like that, right? Because it seems like nowadays you have to choose, like, one or the other. Oh, nice, yeah. Just because he doesn't agree with Trump as a socialist. You're either a fascist or you're, like, a socialist, right? And, like, those are the extremes and they hate each other, right? There's something that I'm missing... But I'm also too lazy to go out and find it. So <laughs> like I'm not. I, yeah, so I'm. I'm oh, eh, whatever. I'll We're just Americans, sit back and man. Complain. We're Americans. <laughs> we got used to getting shit handed to us. We, we believe the news all the time, and now it's like we know that news is shit, but man, we're freaking. We're battling. Movies you have horrible. to, you gotta do your your do research. I mean, do well, do I mean, that's important stuff. So. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> it's the only relevance. Talk about the real issues have. here. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to. I, I I don't like to just be labeled one side or the other. I know I, it sounds like I'm going extreme. 
But I'm just going on the politics side of it, of who seems to be more effective as an individual. And I and 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 because I don't believe that their convictions will entirely get through, it will be filtered through the Congress. But I do think they will effectively get some, some if not most, of their agenda through. And that's kind of where I'm at. And so that's there's so many people, and we'll see 2020 where where everything lands. And then maybe we'll go back and do another politics podcast, and then we'll talk about the actual candidates. Okay. But um, but yeah, there's just so much right now out there, and none of them are are winning me over just yet. And I don't think they're winning anybody here over, not j- not yet. Yeah. So that's just the way it is. Yeah, but this is right. I mean, yeah, we're more divided than ever. But I mean, there's there's a lot of symbol. There's a lot of things no, that brings I, I together. Think always yeah, yeah. Divided <laughs> as we are. I think Let's it's just, I think it's just more apparent. It was more like these people didn't just show up yesterday, like from each section. They've always been here in one shape or way, or shape or form, since forever. Yeah. Oh, that's it. It's just now it's you know, now we they got like one guy that you can actually be like, ooh, we're talking a bunch of shit about. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's just and so also bad fuck we... Mitch McConnell. I hate that guy. <laughs> that that turtle guy. That fucking turtle human. Piece of shit. <laughs> Hello. But that's it. That's I'm all I got to that. New topic. New topic. What else in the news uh, today? Oh my goodness! What did we go through? We other than the, other than this, we went through politics. Went through what's what's going on locally? What's going right. on around you your know what? Actually, can I call for a quick break, real quick? Yeah, let's go ahead and hit a break, and then we can go ahead and hit maybe reviews and wrap up. Wait, Wait, are we recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been back seen? for a minute. No. Oh, wow. Have you seen that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, yeah. And uh, Jim Belushi? Red Heat? Yeah, Red Heat. Where he's like the Soviet? He's wearing like a purple suit or oh, something. Man, right? been, like, yeah, so dude, long Jim Belushi is just sweaty from Burger King the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Nah, you can't do that. Bah, I'm Jim Belushi. Bah, 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 bah. Can you bring them? <laughs> hey, now it's time for our it's time for our Schwarzenegger skit. This is something we should incorporate every every show. Yeah, as Arnold Schwarzeneggers. Hey, dig hat. I'm not talking about jurisdiction. <laughs> I'm talking about saving a little girl. <laughs> hey, you can't be here. This isn't your jurisdiction. <laughs> Right. Remember we talked about how if the commissioner was from the same from Austria also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about saving another girl. Okay. Why you brother start listening, <laughs> dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just their go-to insult to everybody. <laughs> now you listen here, dickhead. I'm the commissioner. <laughs> You're on my watch. This. <laughs> this is my watch. <laughs> That's enough out of both of you. I'm, the FBI. <laughs> I'm taking over. I'm taking over this. This is federal investigation now. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Who are you? The goddamn president. Let <laughs> me negotiate with the terrorists. <laughs> I love Arnold. He's the greatest guy. But ever. it's it's not all Arnold, right? Like it's one guy who is Arnold. He's the detective, <laughs> you know. But the rest are just big ass guys too, who happen to all be from Austria. Austria. <laughs> Old self made millionaires. Come on. <laughs> All of our fathers, we used to be Nazis. <laughs> we made it in this country. When I lift, it's like coming. With weights, and it's like coming. When you're born, you drink milk, and when you go out, you drink beer. You just for babies. <laughs> Let's go talk. I kind of to... like that, you know. And every every episode should just end with an Arnold, Arnold sketch thing, thing, yeah. something. <laughs> they're all kicking out of Muscle Beach. <laughs> You've got 24 hours. <laughs> no, you listen to me, dickhead. You have 24 hours. So we're in the clean it then. We have 24 hours. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Let's all go find that tumor man. And remember, you're my number one customer. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> Put that cookie down. <laughs> uh, 
Come on, Michael, do your best, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a hard one. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that is pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, you got to make a buck. <laughs> Go on. Turn on, it on to <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what do you got, man? What's yeah. uh, we're, all, we're all doing impressions oh, here. Michael Kane. Michael Kane. No, I, I got uh, nothing. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I am not an impression <laughs> guy. Yeah, you got <laughs> I've done my, my Chinese Batman thing for you guys, right? Actually, Chinese Batman? No. Yeah, Chinese Batman. I thought people want to watch the world burn, Master Wang. <laughs> no, that's Chinese Alfred. <laughs> Chinese Alfred, <Alfred's laughs> the Chinese Batman movie. Ah, okay. Which yeah. they call Shuang Bat. <laughs> Mugu Bai Bat. Uh, did you know he had a heart attack, Arnold? Yeah, of course. He of course did? I knew. Really? I have it on alert. <laughs> yeah. Anything, Arnold? Yeah, his medical medical alert bracelet goes off and contacts me. He had heart surgery. It goes just off a while like that. What do you think that sounded like when he had the heart surgery? <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of feel like it was the scene from Total Recall where he gets sucked on his heart. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I'm a huge Arnold fan. I love the guy, trust me. But I just, you know, you gotta, if, you can't, if you can't play, you know, you can't play on the play field. Get out. Take, me to, take me to the hospital. You guys remember the eyes popping out and the tongue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you remember Kwatu? <laughs> oh, no. Kwatu. The thing is, it's the guy's stomach. Baby yeah, the guy's stomach. Baby oh, stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Open your mind, Chris. Mr. Freak. Quake. 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 The Mars. <laughs> when he's dying, Quake. trying to like push the shirt out of the way, <laughs> like a little tent. Quake. When is this? This is being recorded. Oh, it sure is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me. Let me get a good ending. Look, 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 no, it's a great ending. Yeah, it's a great ending. Oh, uh, I'm gonna shout out right now. I uh, can't think of a phrase. Yeah. I mean, all right. While you're thinking, let me do a Stallone thing. All okay, right. This is a long go one here. Okay. Let's see here. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Let me tell you something you don't already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Before you ruin a, a pretty poignant part of the movie. <laughs> what is that? With the impression that it's the Rocky Balboa movie. Rocky. I felt like that part was actually pretty good. I know, right, that let me writing finish the was actually fucking pretty awesome. good. <laughs> let me just finish it and then you can no, just trust me. People are going to relate it as like a joke. Mike, no, you know no, 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 dude. You got to do Copland. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen uh, that one. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um... The law. There you go. Oh, that's that's that. yeah, Speaking yeah. of which, can we get a sequel to the the recent Judge Dread? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, that was good. That was good. What are we waiting for? Yeah, How does right. Fast and the Furious get like ten sequels? And that one, but then when we actually that. have a good movie, we can't get a sequel. Like, how hard is it to, like, it's not like all of these people that created this movie have gone on to do, like, bigger things and you can't get them together. Carl right. Albert hasn't done anything. No. You know what I mean? Like, Alex Garland, well, Alex Garland's kind of making stuff, he's a writer, but you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, how hard is it to get a sequel to this yeah, movie? That's true. I, agree. I, I don't understand Those Fast and Furious movies at all anyway, like Magic. magic it's cars? like, it's like completely, so oh, it's crazy. Magic Cars? I'm not going to pretty much uh, discount this stuff because obviously, like, first one was stupid like mm -hmm. i'm not you know and like the preceding ones but is it like a full-on like sci-fi like series now oh like, yeah have you seen the is. previews for the new one like is it there's just like one? is it like a sci-fi yeah. thing it's it's sci -fi there's like a spin-off of like the rock and jason statham or whatever okay. and that's like it like there's no none of the other like yeah, cast or by whatever. i don't i don't know like the it's weird i don't know like what's going on in the space series anymore what? Oh, like Jason in space? Just like their cars are like <laughs> super like, weird, and it has like a whole sci-fi feel like with like the weapons that like people uh -huh. are using. And stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know what's going on. With you just need series. a Fast and the Furious with Arnold. It's like how many sequels can they make to like Resident Evil? <laughs> like uh, Fast yeah. and the Furious, but yeah. we can't get a decent sequel to Judge Dredd. I'm Judge trying. Dredd versus Robocop. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Robocop that? versus Terminator. I'm really? driving an ambulance. I don't remember. Did we hate the new Robocop? Uh, I didn't hate it. I but, didn't watch uh, the new I like the old one better. Yeah, the old oh, one yeah. still has its... Yeah, old one still has but its... But the charm. old one's, like, bloody. Like, 
like you hear they got uh, what's his name to make the new RoboCop. The guy who made District Nine. Oh, so they are going to no. move ahead with another RoboCop reboot? Like, what's this? This okay. is fucking illegal. <laughs> Someone said they're looking forward to that guy being the dad from the 70s show's character in part one. <laughs> like, bitches leave. <laughs> hey, bitches leave. <laughs> the South African accent. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> hey, we got it in there. <laughs> there, you, there you go. It's just been revoked. <laughs> you think Carl Urban would make a good Batman? Of course. Wait, he has the jawline, right? Is he even making that face the whole time? Dread face? Yeah, the dread face. Yeah. They need one for the Reeves Batman. Yeah, Batman kind of has a grimace all the time. That's right, yeah. Mm. Well, I don't even know how tall the guy is, but they can just make, they can work with yeah, that. Yeah, they can work with that. I don't think it would be good Bruce Wayne. Yeah, dude, they can definitely work with that. Come on, Tom Cruise is like three feet tall, and they make him look like he's taller than freaking the guy who played Superman. Oh, I know, yeah. That's who would true. be a good Batman? Who would you cast as Batman? What about that guy from say, Dexter? Don't say these fan film fucking actors. Like, who's a real actor that would be a good Batman? Gerard Butler? Mm, I actually do uh, like Urban. I'm not thinking about it. I like, I like, I like Urban as the, as the, as the guy. Um... They're rumoring the rumors that Army Hammer's still in the still with this. I know he doesn't deserve it. He has no business being even close to a. What has he been in besides that like Lone Ranger movie? That's it. He was going to be in George Miller's uh, Justice League. I I don't see him doing it. How do we feel about Mad Max? By the way. Which one? The, the most new one. Recent, the Fury Road? Yeah, everyone was, like, talking up this movie. Like, it was, like, the second coming, like, some amazing, like, action movie. And I I don't I don't get it. Like, aside from, okay. Like, if you're going to define action as, like, live stunts and set pieces and explosions that are real and not CGI, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you have a leg to stand on, Right. But I don't understand where the rest of like the love is like coming from. Like I didn't think that movie was like that good. It wasn't enough Mad Max. Yeah, it wasn't. It was like, yeah, that's true. Side character. So if you were thing. to move away from like I'm false sorry. advertising and you were to just watch the movie with no expectations going in, like what would you? I would like it. I wouldn't hate it, but it would definitely. Hmm. Be, I'd be like, mm, I'd make some changes. <laughs> <laughs> So the the world, the setting, the whole the, the other character development, that it was it enough to tr- maybe get you interested for the next I don't know. one? I'm I'm trying to decide whether or not it was like me, like not liking the fact that it was advertised as a Mad Max movie, and he was kind of like marginalized, like mm. in that movie, versus if it was actually like a bad movie or not. I'm not sure. Mm. 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 I don't think it was bad. Should they suck? I don't movie? think it was bad, but. I know that I don't like it. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's just biases keeping me from liking it, if it was actually good, but I don't know yet. I don't think good, but it was... Uh... <clears throat> but if you find out, like, on your deathbed, you're like, <gasps> it was the biases. <laughs> that was the reason I didn't like that. <laughs> I, I, heard a, I heard, like, a deathbed, a last words on a deathbed kind of thing today. Mm. And it, dude, it made me laugh so hard. Well, <laughs> it was like, there's a secret about me you should know. But you can't know it. <clears throat> Ultimate cliffhanger guy, right? Like, <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I got a big secret, but I can't tell you. That's the dad telling his son. That's like, the what the hell is this? <laughs> just a guy who likes cliffhangers. It's like I could <laughs> end the season. That's like the thing, I right? could have just not have known that you had a yeah. secret. <laughs> That's like you've been invested. You've been invested in this show for like two to three seasons. There's this thing where, you know, that one of the main characters, he dies with that deathbed confession type thing, yeah. and then the show's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a bummer. And then the such main writer bummer. dies so that he can never, like, you know, tell me what the secret was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so we ended with the uh, death bets. I, I, I think I think we're gonna ra- we're gonna wrap it up right now. Anybody want to throw out some plugs? Oh, we just got going. What do you mean we're wrapping it up? <laughs> this is time for the ten hour palaver. Yeah, yeah, this is, this uh, is the marathon. Well, I'll bring out the beer then. You know we didn't talk sports, but I feel like it's gonna be like two hour four here. Uh, I don't do sports. 
Yeah, they uh, read the room. No you know sports. I mean? <laughs> right, right. No sports. Right. Get out of the here. Padres. Sport. Looking guys... forward to the season. <laughs> yeah. For the yeah. first time in like 20 years. You guys want sports? <laughs> Go to the history chat. <laughs> Ken Burns baseball. Good documentary. Oh, uh, yeah. Ken Burns. The history of the bike. <laughs> Having trouble sleeping, folks? <laughs> Anyways. Hey. Re- remember to rate and review the podcast. Uh, subscribe and share the episode links and help us keep the Palaver Project growing. Write to us. We'll respond. Somebody say <laughs> something. <laughs> Only if you write letters, though. We are on iTunes, Apple Podcasts. These millennials don't know how to write addresses no, on envelopes. What Michael's number is in the website. Somewhere can, there, yeah. We'll give out his personal phone number if you email me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want angry messages, by all means. Spotify and Podbean, we're also on there too. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube now. Go to, yeah. Just go to, and also go to our homepage at thepalaverproject.com. So, for Thomas Rodriguez, uh, Moses El Cassis, Oscar Sandoval, Mike Rivera, and Sean Connery. Oh, uh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, shit. Sean. Listen here, Sean. Goodbye. That's all you get. That's We're cheap. going into silent running. <laughs> I'm Sean Connery, a Scottish man. A Scottish man. You know, we can just... a Russian man. Oh, I know. The Highlander one, before I go. (laughs) They call me the Spaniard. Now let me teach you how to fight with Kitanas. (laughs) Now do that dragon one when he was that dragon. Bowen. (laughs) No, no, no. Bowen. Oh, Bowen. (laughs) Bowen. I'm Bowen. Bowen. I took my heart, Bowen. (laughs) I'll never be a dragon in the stars. (laughs) Shaken, not stared. <laughs> good idea, All right, wait, wait, no, no, no. Leave it with a with a good one. Give me, give me a uh, last crusade. Oh, that's great. Okay, <laughs> wait, Doctor Jones. Gosh, <laughs> I wrote it down in my diary so go. I wouldn't have to remember. <laughs> I what should have given it to the Marsh Brothers. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> 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 Just stop. Please. No, no. Indiana. Look at Gosh. Run over the side. <laughs> the floor is on fire. <laughs> and the chair. <laughs> Oh, I find that when I just sit down. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> not getting on the boat. <laughs> what about the boat? The boat. <laughs> no, Dad. <laughs> this is intolerable. <laughs> this is great. This is just two hours of us just yelling out. Go- <laughs> last <laughs> <crusade>. <laughs> Or pilgrims in an unholy land. <laughs> oh God, did I bring up a story? Oh fuck! I give Thomas my yearbook in middle school. He fucking signs it, Adolf Hitler, <laughs> just like fucking a la Gas Crusade. He looks, oh. he's the look, and he fucking does it the same way. He got really good. Dun. He got really good. Yeah, that's signature guy, legit. Too, that was too, really too, good. too, too, too uh, convincing. <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow, that was great. That was a deep that pull. Awesome. What did it tell you that it does not tell me? <laughs> it tells me that gift goose sniffing morons such as yourself should spend more time reading books instead of burning them. <laughs> Remember that one, dude? And the periscope in the tank? <laughs> I do. There's nothing to find. Uh, <laughs> just knocks that. Why is he so happy that he's on the crotch, right? I, I know. Yeah, he just said that, uh, it says the American fights like a girl. Oh, that's oh. what he said. Who thought he's a fucking divine rat? I'm good at that. Oh, good stuff. It's the greatest movie of all time. Thank <laughs> you. That was a really good Can't movie. we just say that? <laughs> Saw it again last week. It was, it was beautiful. Let yeah. everybody, dude. Yeah. Let everybody. Yeah. Marcus. Marcus Brody, son. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking John Rice Davies. I love that guy. He should, he's underrated as an actor. He should oh, be yeah, in more. He's amazing. Yeah. 
He's not doing anything anymore, huh? He's like in that stage now where he's just gonna like pass one day. He has yeah, the, the only thing he did in the last couple of years was he was the king, uh, the elven king on that Shinara series. Mm. Which is a total bust. They really fucked that up. But he was good. Screwed the pooch. Yeah, they really did. They were so tired of people messing up books. And not just like one book, right? Mm. Like, it's not just like, you know, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird where it's a one shot story. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, they're going to have this scene, that's it. End of it. They're, they're like destroying, like, what, what, what's it called? Epics, right? Mm-hmm. When it goes past three books, it's got like a bunch. They're literally destroying them. Dark Tower is a great example of a I was huge series just being condensed too. into an hour and a half or two hour movie. They didn't make a Dark Tower movie, huh? They did. I really forgot about Dark that. Dark Tower <laughs> is eight <laughs> books long and thousands of pages in total, and it t- they turned it into a one shot. Like here it is. That's funny because it has Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and they were like their roles the probably best. should have been review- reversed in that movie. Really? Oh, uh, they had Oscar winning performance. <laughs> me, when meaning they win me. I feel like <laughs> Edris Alba would have done better as the bad guy in that movie. Mm. I think he would have brought like more to Why? Because he's because the the main <laughs> character, the role. No, the Roland character in himself is just kind of a he's kind of a flat character. Mm. You know, like he doesn't have a lot of dimension to him. He's just supposed to be a tough guy. McConaughey is driving to Lincoln the whole time. <laughs> Enough with the McConaughey already. Look, all right, look, I see where this is going. <laughs> call yeah, back, call it back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's cut it. Let's, to, let's we cut need this. To save this for uh, the next palaver. All right, save guys. your uh, work on your um, sh- stuff. You work Character on your stuff, stuff, you bitch. I will work on. <laughs> Clip your balls. I got, I got stuff. All right, all right. Michael's already like distracted and shit. No, I'm just looking at the, what I was didn't finish. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. You never but it ain't about finish. how hard you hit. It's about <laughs> how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. No, me. No, you. <laughs> how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. <laughs> Mickey, cut my eye. <laughs> Good night, everybody.